Hey, I'm Rich Smith and today I'm trying out some new crisps from Walkers and this is the fish and chips flavour. Um, supporting local restaurants, taste icons, there's a few other ones of these out as well, different, uh, different flavours. Uh, it would be interesting to see how these taste. Uh, if you look back at some of my previous videos, I've um, checked out the Seabrook uh, fish and chip flavour crisps and I rated them a 0 out of 10. That was 0 out of 5 even, or even out of 10, whatever, they weren't very good. Um, so I'm hoping the walkers are going to be better and taste like fish and chips. So let's give it a go. Okay, the smell it smells like a fish and chip shop. That's quite hopeful. It smells like unwrapping your fish and chips you got the salt and the vinegar on there and the smell hits you and you're like, this is going to taste good. So, I'm hoping. Um, well, the smell's good. I might just try another one. Okay. They're not too bad. You've got the salt and vinegary kind of flavours coming through. Um, they're better than the Seabrook. I mean, I wouldn't say it's 100% fish and chip flavour. Um, are they better than the Smith Scampi Bites? I wouldn't say yes. Um, even though walkers make the Smith Scampi Bites. But um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, it's the... One of the closest. I think I prefer those Smith Scampi Bites though. Um, but yeah, I'd give these, um, I'd say a two out of five. Um, it's close. It is close. Um, but I wouldn't say they're 100% fish and chip. Uh, let me know if you've tried these, what you think of them uh, in the comments below. And if you've tried any of the Walker's Taste Icons.